Welcome to the Crazy Head Chemist. So another video in bonding and molecular structure. Let's, uh, let's get started. Bam! So today we're talking about the resonant st resonance structures for the nitrate ion. You first need to be able to write the formula for the nitrate ion. So nitrate is NO3 minus 1. That's correct. Oh, by, by, by the way, just a quick little item here. And that is, what is the nitrite ion? Nitrite is different than nitrate by the difference of one oxygen. So this is nitrate. Nitrite is NO2 minus 1. So you need to count up the number of valence electrons in nitrogen, then in oxygen, then add one for that negative charge, and then distribute those um, electrons as is appropriate. Of course, the least electronegative element goes in the middle, and those oxygens are around that central nitrogen. And you're going to have to do something in particular, and that is form a double bond. Only one of the oxygens forms a double bond. You do need brackets. That brackets indicates that this is an ion. You're going to have the in the upper right-hand corner of those brackets the negative one charge. Okay? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw another Lewis dot structure of nitrate. Before we carry on with that, though, uh, the reason that you do have a double bond there is because that nitrogen in the center was lacking an octet, and that's why you moved over those electrons from that singly bonded oxygen. And now you have a double bonded oxygen there. Okay, So everything has an octet rule on this one, so we're good with that. All right, can you draw another Lewis dot structure that is equally valid to this one? And the answer is most certainly yes. How about another one beyond that one? Yes. And we're going to draw double-headed arrows in between each one of these. Okay, I'm going to show you a structure here. I'm going to put my mouse down. I'm going to show you a structure that closely represents this. This is the far left-hand one. Notice that there's a single bond, a single bond, and a double bond. Okay, the blue thing in the middle is the nitrogen, and the yellow things on the outside, in this case, are the oxygens. I know oxygen is typically red, but... I chose yellow just for giggles here today, okay? Yellow is normally sulfur. All right, so um, you should see this here. Now, in order to draw the middle structure, what we're going to do is we are going to rotate this molecule, okay? And then the far right-hand structure, we're going to rotate this molecule again, okay? Those are the three different resonance structures for the nitrate ion, okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you. So I've drawn one on the left-hand side, then the second one in the middle, the third one down on the right-hand side. Okay, first left-hand side, then middle, then right-hand side. I think I messed that up the first time. Okay, so let's keep on going. Okay, um, these are equivalent resonance structures. That is, we don't need to do formal charges because all these are equivalent resonance structures. Okay. Um, if you were to do formal charges, then the two singly bonded oxygens have the same formal charge of negative one. The doubly bonded, double bonded oxygen has a formal charge of what? Zero. Okay. And all the nitrogens have the same formal charge too as a plus one. Okay. So we have a little bit more information that we can gain from this. So each one of these structures, and it doesn't matter which structure you choose for a resonance structure, you get the same axe-like structure. And you get the same shape, the same bond angle, everything is going to be the same. So this is AX3, that is the A is the central element, that's the nitrogen, the X are the three oxygens around it. Okay, this is three bonding and zero non-bonding domains. Okay, what's the name of this shape? It is trigonal planar. And actually, I showed you that with this structure here. All of, the all of the oxygens, which are in yellow in this case, and that nitrogen in the blue, are all in the same plane. Okay, the bond angles here are 120 degrees. Okay, and this is polar because of the negative charge. It is not polar because of anything else. It does have polar bonds, so that first criteria has been satisfied, but the second criteria of being asymmetrical has not been satisfied. Okay, And one of the reasons that, that you need to remind yourself when doing resonance structures is that not one of these three structures, in this case, one of these three structures, not one of them correctly represents the nitrate ion. It's actually a hybrid in between all of them. There are no single bonds. There are no double bonds in the nitrate ion specifically. All the bonds are of equal length. So having said that, 
then we should get the bond order. So the bond order is the number of bonds divided by the number of regions. So you're going to look at that central nitrogen. How many bonds do you see? One, two, three, four bonds in how many regions? One, two, three regions. So we get four bonds. That is a single bond, another single bond, and a double bond is two bonds. So that's why there's four bonds. And how many regions around the central element that are bonding regions? There are three bonding regions. So that gives me a bond of four thirds. That means that each of the bonds between the nitrogen and any one of the oxygens is a four thirds bond. That is a one and a third bond in energy, in length. Okay, so that means that there are no single bonds, there are no double bonds. Okay, all right. When you acquire a higher level of chemistry, then you're going to understand that he, there is one structure that you can draw for the nitrate ion. And that one structure is in this um, upper right hand corner here, just to the left of my little video. And you should see that they're all singly bonded with single lines. And then there's that dashed line. That dashed line for each of the single bonds is letting, letting you know that this is not a single bond, it's not a double bond, but all the bonds are equivalent. That means that each bond is a four-thirds bond. Okay, so this is the correction factor for the Lewis structures and the Vesper theory. Okay, all right, so that is a one ring, one structure to rule them all, and that one works perfectly. All right, I am the crazy hat chemist, so of course I need to have a hat, and not quite a hat, but maybe it's a halo. Okay, I like that. Okay, it's a golden. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and watch more videos, and I'm going to see you next time. All right? And that's a bond order of zero. That means it doesn't exist. Have a great day. Bye now.